Last week, a judge ordered Weld County Sheriff Steve Reams to create further protections for inmates deemed more susceptible to COVID-19 after the ACLU filed suit. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us live outside the Weld County Jail tonight. Dylan, the sheriff laid out his plans with you and says he is going beyond the judge's orders to make sure that his jail is safe. Karen, last week I spoke with a former inmate listed in that lawsuit who accused the sheriff of not providing a facility that's safe to those who are highly susceptible to COVID-19. But today the sheriff tells me his facility, which is right behind me, goes above and beyond to provide that to his inmates, adding that about 20% of the inmates right now are in a, uh, a specific pod for those who are highly susceptible to COVID-19. We're complying with the judge's orders. We're doing... Uh, as best we can to deal with with that select group while still looking out for the health and safety of every other inmate. For the first time since being sued by the ACLU and ordered by a judge to further protect at-risk inmates, Weld County Sheriff Steve Reams is unveiling his actions and plans to battle COVID-19 in his jail. We locked the entire facility down for a minimum of 14 days. That was to make sure that we caught everyone who could potentially be infected with COVID-19 and treat them accordingly. By the judge's standard, we identified 89 of the 450 inmates in my custody that were considered medically vulnerable. The sheriff says he simply can't meet all of the ACLU's requests, saying his facility can't handle giving every inmate their own room. About 87% of the inmates would have been considered medically vulnerable. But meeting the judge's standards. What we've done is taken the medically vulnerable inmates in each housing unit and combined them together uh, and distanced them away from, from all other inmates. Also, all inmates are now required to wear masks. Reem saying the actions his jail has taken exceeds the standards in many other jails across the country. We feel like we've got a very good handle on it and we're in a good place right now. And we just want to make sure we stay that way. Right now, third party visitors like attorneys are also being required to be checked before they enter that facility. Currently, there are only three inmates who have tested positive for COVID-19 in the facility right behind me, two of which entered with the virus already. Live in Weld County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.